Disciplined desire, whether one can curb it, is a deeper question altogether, which is what do you desire? What makes you itch? What sort of a situation would you like? Let's suppose I do this often in vocational guidance of students. They come to me and say, well, uh, we're getting out of college and we haven't the faintest idea what we want to do. So I always ask the question, what would you like to do if money were no object? How would you really enjoy spending your life? And crowds of students say, well, we'd like to be painters, we'd like to be poets, we'd like to be writers, but as everybody knows, you can't earn any money that way. When we finally got down to something which the individual says he really wants to do, I will say to him, you do that and uh, forget the money uh, because if you say that getting the money is the most important thing you will spend your life completely wasting your time you'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living that is to go on doing things you don't like doing which is stupid better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way and so Therefore, it's so important to consider this question. What do I desire?